So in this lesson, we're just going to go through some of the settings and make sure everything's working right with our XR simulator so that we can start moving ahead this week and start doing some of the functions for virtual reality. Don't get frustrated. Sometimes if things don't work or if they stop working, this is a pretty complicated uh, software package. So um, just make sure if you do, you keep in touch with me and we'll figure it out. So right now, just to backtrack for a second, you should have um, your package manager in your project should have um, Interaction, uh, interaction toolkit and all of the samples and I may update this by next week we'll see and the XR plugin management and the samples here open XR plugin and all these samples too if you have a headset you're going to go to the registry and you're going to um, get the oculus plugin here and that would be then that would then, then then be in your project. So if you looked at your project, uh, the Oculus would be inside there. That's only if you have a headset though. So right now, if I play my game, um, I have my simulator, and of course, if if I go to my headset and I build, I'm going to disable this. So you need to pay attention to this, if, especially if you're using a headset. If this is on when you build and then you go try to play your game with a headset, it's not going to work. It's looking for a mouse. So if you come back to your game and you've disabled it, and then you start trying to play your game, you're going to figure, oh, I just messed up. Um, now nothing works. Well, of course it works. You just you have your simulator um, unactivated. So pay attention to that. And I moved my... Uh, my rig sort of inside my game some, so I can start a little bit closer inside here. Maybe I'm too close. So let's try this. So if I go in my game, I can look around. Yeah, I'm too low. So this is you know nothing but trial and error. You know, just move your rig a little bit, play it. Move your rig a little bit, play it. I like that. Okay, and if I hold down Shift. And roll my left mouse. I got my uh, left controller. If I hold down space and roll my scroll wheel, my scroll wheel, I'm sorry, my scroll wheel, uh, I can uh, move it. I think I'll move this one a little bit. Okay, if I hold down uh, right mouse, I can um, move both of them. If I hold down my scroll wheel and my right mouse, I can pan. Now, don't worry, I'm going to have a, ch a cheat sheet for all these commands because I know they're frustrating. And I know the Unity video he really doesn't go through this at all because he's using the headset. But I'm going to have it for you, so don't worry. We'll, we'll get down on it. Um, also, if I hold down the space bar, just so I can show you, and um, the, uh, the scroll wheel, holding down the scroll wheel and the right mouse button, now I can teleport. So I would move my white till I get it there. I would let go, holding down my space bar, and then hit D, and I have teleported. Uh, don't worry. I'm going to go through those commands and have a cheat sheet for you so that you can uh, know which you know know which command you're going to use uh, again can be a little bit confusing so that's a goal you should have your uh, you know, more furniture than me and um, your lighting right and uh, make sure you see your controllers make sure that your controllers move holding down the uh, shift or the space bar and rolling your scroll we got to have that three button mouse three button mouse essential and make sure everything's working. Um, if you have a headset, um, make sure when you build, you choose PC build, and you disable this. And then you need to go, and I think I showed this last time, into your edit project settings. And down here, make sure you choose, yeah, why is that not chosen? And then this one here, Oculus. And then the last one, Oculus. And then your headset will work. Um, let's say you have a problem and, and things aren't working. I'm going to save this scene. And you, you, you all of a sudden it stopped working. The easiest thing to do is go back. And you should not have overwritten this one to your original um, scene. 
which in this case was created with her. This is the one they came with. Now, I put a house inside there. Probably shouldn't have, but when you get a scene inside a project, you want to save it right away because you, you want to go back to it if you have to. So let's say nothing's working. Well, if you want to make sure you have the project right, you would go here, and then you would go to your samples, XOR interaction, 2.02, that's the one I may upgrade, XOR device simulator, and drag the simulator in. Now I'm going to move my thing back here. So all I have is the house, but I want to test my controls, right? See if my packages work. So now I can start moving my controllers, and they work, and so I know I'm good. So I, I know everything's working before I start building too much. Um, and I don't quite know why that is so close. take a look there we go now I can see a lot easier do not those who've been with me before um, get rid of this camera don't put another camera in so this is this isn't a 3d game it's a virtual reality game so the rig comes with the camera you are not putting another camera in don't even think about it don't get rid of any of these cameras either. This is all one unit. This is you walking around. So just go back and test it. If that works, then just take a couple of minutes to put the uh, room back in, furniture in, and then you're ready to go. So you can see maybe you made a mistake in the other one there. So I'm going to go back to my other one. I'm not going to save that. Because on my original thing, I'm going to go back to this, and I don't save. So anyway, um, Make sure your settings are right. Make sure you can see your controllers. Make sure your controllers are moving. My cheat sheet will be up. Um, and you can uh, start trying some of those commands and stuff. And we're going to teleport this week and maybe teleport to another uh, version. But I want to make sure everything's working. I want to jump ahead. And all of a sudden, you know, your game's not working. You get frustrated. So um, make sure you keep in touch with me. Now, let's see. there's a problem. If you have a PC, the easiest thing to do is hit Control, Alt, Print Screen. And then type paint down here and just paste it. From here, you can, if you want to, just uh, let's get red. Come over here and show me this is my problem. And you can save this and attach it right to the email or post it. So that way I can see what you're looking at. So more information is best. That way I can see what's going on. But don't get frustrated. We're going to start moving through this room, uh, teleporting, uh, looking around, and then picking things up, etc. Uh, I think this week or next week I'll start throwing some stuff in. Those, those who don't have a headset, I'll take a video of it so you can sort of see what you're looking at um, when you actually have a headset on. So keep going at it. Um, I think the Oculus headsets are like 300, 350 now. I think the one with 256K, maybe still four or 500, but um, they're there. There's a couple other brands coming out. I think the Foothill Lab actually has a couple riffs, so um, um, we'll be doing that too. Right now, we're just we're building, um, and make sure the current scene is in here, and then um, build and run. So put this uh, build and run inside here. So, so. So make sure that the uh, build settings are PC and you have the current scene in here. If there's no scene, nothing happens. If you have an old scene, like the beginning scene, nothing's going to happen. So the current scene and then build PC. And then you're going to take that. Uh, we use Google Drive. So we uh, take it, we compress it, put it on Google Drive, and then take it over to our Rift machines and download it and extract it and then hit play. It should work. Anyway, if you have any problems, let me know.